in the previous lecture we seen that the basic concept of some ordinary differential equation or differential equation okay so today we will discuss the first chapter okay can you see the screen yes sir yes sir now the chapter number first linear linear differential equation equation with constant coefficient with constant coefficient okay so this is this chapter number 1 now the introduction part look at introduction a linear differential equation a linear differential equation of order n of order n with constant coefficient okay with constant coefficient constant coefficient is an equation is an equation of the form of the form y is to n okay nth derivative of y plus a1 into y is to n minus 1 okay So y is to nth minus one derivative plus a two into y is to n minus two plus up to so on plus a n into y is to n minus n. It means zero. So y is to zero is equal to one, not one. Okay, y is a n zero derivative. It means y itself, which is equal to b of x. Give it as equation number one, where where is a one, a two, up to so on a n are complex constant, are complex constant. Okay, so. and the order linear differential equation is of the form where the y is to n plus a1 y is to n minus 1 plus a2 y is to n minus 2 up to so on a n y n which is equal to bx which is equal to bx where this all a1 a2 a n are complex constant okay and the bx is the bx is the complex valued function defined on an interval i Okay, these a one, a two, a n are complex constant, and b of x, okay, is the complex valued function. Complex valued function defined defined on I. Okay, where I is an interval okay it will be convenient to denote the left hand side is equal to equation 1 uh, left hand side of the equation 1 which is equal to l of y okay now that is we assumed uh, this y is to n okay plus a1 y is to n minus 1 plus a2 y is to n minus 1 up to so on a n y n okay we denote this as a l of y Which is equal to b x. Okay, give it is equation number two, where now where this l of y is equal to y is to n plus a one y is to n minus one plus a two y is to n minus two plus so on a n y n. Okay, 
where this L is called as differential equation, where this L, where this L is called differential operator. It's called differential operator. Okay, so this is the definition of nth order linear differential equation. Okay, any doubt? L of y L differential operator, which is nothing but what d d raised to n upon d y raised to n. Okay, which is operated on y. Hence, this is the y raised to n plus a one into nth minus one derivative. Okay, d raised to n minus one upon d x raised to n minus one. Okay, manje high L kai dumcha differential operator. Look at this. L of y is nothing but L is nothing but d of d n d raised to n upon d x raised to n plus d raised to n minus one upon d x raised to n minus one up to so on. Okay, here a one is there. Okay, up to so on a n into which is operated on y. Okay, so this is nothing but d raised to n nth order derivative of y with respect to x plus a1 d raised to n minus y y upon dx raised to n minus 1 up to so on a n of y. Okay, any doubt? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Now, this is the linear differential equation with order n. Okay, suppose this b of x is equal to 0. Then, the linear differential is the homogeneous. Okay. Just have some that b of x is equal to 0. So, that the equation like I am on top one. Then, homogeneous. The linear differential equation is called as homogeneous linear differential equation. Okay. This b of x is equal to 0 for all the values of this i. Okay. When you have the b of x, the function i. So, the i was interval was 0 as a. So, the function like I, the equation like I am on top one. Homogeneous linear differential equation. Okay, suppose there exists an x naught belongs to I such that the b of x is not equal to zero. Okay, then that equation is called as non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Okay, now I put a book there. Now look the types of linear differential equation. Look at the types of linear differential equation okay now first one is homogeneous 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 linear differential equation okay if b of x is equal to zero for all look at it for all x belongs to i a b of x function ka point ka kasha define kele hai ya interval ho okay where this for all x belongs to i then the differential equation 2 becomes becomes l of y is equal to 0 it's called homogeneous homogeneous linear differential equation okay any doubt if suppose no, here in equation 2 this b of x is 0 for all x belongs to i then it becomes l of y is equal to 0 then the equation is called as homogeneous linear differential equation okay now the second one is non-homogeneous differential equation non-homogeneous linear differential equation okay if p of x is not equal to zero for some some 
x belongs to i okay then first year ke ek se kiya bas kitne rahte ho ऑनलाइन the equation equation 2 becomes becomes l of y is equal to b of x okay then it's called it's called non homogeneous non homogeneous different linear differential equation okay suppose in the equation 2 this b of x is not equal to 0 for some x belongs to i okay ekhada function jar kon interval interval non zero dakhvaycha asel tar to apan kay karto ekhade point la jadi to non zero asel tar to function kay asto kon interval la non zero asto okay that's why here for some x belongs to i okay if suppose b of x is not equal to 0 for some x belongs to i then the equation 2 becomes l of i is equal to b of x okay it's called the non homogeneous linear differential equation okay any doubt no sir okay now the solution of differential equation the next definition solution of linear differential equation आवाज कमी करा तिकडे म्हणजे माझा आवाज ऐकेल तिकडे ओके सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ हियर लुक एट दिस l इज डिफरेंशियल ऑपरेटर l इज डिफरेंशियल ऑपरेटर इफ it operates it operates on function on function phi and l of phi is equal to b of x then phi is called solution of that linear differential equation okay any doubt if this phi satisfies the equation l of y is equal to b of x then that phi is called as solution of linear differential equation okay any doubt up to here no sir no sir okay no sir the next definition second order homogeneous linear differential equation अत्यंत ऑर्डर पाहिलं तर आपण आता काय बघायचं सेकंड ऑर्डर होमोजिनियस इक्वेशन सेकंड ऑर्डर होमोजिनियस होमोजिनियस लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके लुक एट हियर द इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन of the form of the form y double dash means second derivative of y plus a1 y dash plus a2 y which is equal to 0 here b of x is nothing but 0 that's why we call it as second order homogeneous linear differential okay where a1 and a2 are 
complex constant. Okay, so a one and a two are complex constant. एक हजार real number complex है तो का? Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. So this complex is तो मंजे अच्छा है तो ऐसा नहीं कि दो a one नहीं a two a plus i b आप yes, ओके तो ये ले जाओ सुई आशुषक तो क्यों है कॉम्प्लेक्स है ये शुई ओके दैट वेयर ए वन एंड ए टू आर कॉम्प्लेक्स कांस्टेंट इट्स कॉल्ड सेकंड ऑर्डर सेकंड ऑर्डर होमोजेनियस होमोजेनियस लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके एनी डाउट एनी डाउट अप टू हियर नो सर ओके नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक पॉलीनोमियल लुक एट द नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक पॉलीनोमियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक पॉलीनोमियल Okay. If suppose this is the second order linear differential equation, a one y dash plus a two y is equal to zero, then the characteristic characteristic polynomial of above differential equation, above differential equation. It's given by. It's given by. P of R, okay, which is equal to R square plus a one R plus a two, okay. So this is the characteristic polynomial of above linear differential equation. Okay, any doubt? These are the all these definitions. Okay, now we will move towards the theorem. डाउट है इत पर्यत नो सर नो ओके मूव टूवर्ड्स दी नेक्स्ट थे फर्स्ट वन लेट ए वन एंड ए टू लेट ए वन एंड ए टू बी कांस्टेंट Okay, and consider the equation. Consider the equation. Okay, yeah, I understand. Consider the equation. L of y is equal to y double dash plus a one y dash plus a two. Okay, this is the Homogeneous linear differential equation, which is equal a one a two y is equal to zero. Okay, now this is the homogeneous linear differential equation. Okay, this is the statement. Sorry. Okay, now first one. If r one and r two are distinct root, distinct roots of Characteristic polynomial, the p of r is equal to r one square plus sorry r square p of r is equal to r square plus a one r plus a two. Okay, this is the Characteristic polynomial p of r. Roots of the characteristic polynomial p of r is equal to r square plus a one r plus a two. Then the function. Then the function phi one and phi two are the defined. Defined by Y one of x, which is equal to e raised to r one x, and y two of x, 
is equal to b raised to r2 of x is the solution is solution of l of y is equal to 0 okay the bsc third year la pahilela hai point jar r1 and r1 and r2 jar he astil tar complementary function kasli to apan e is to r1 x okay mai te nahi bsc third year la dhalele hai ho sir yes sir e is to r1 x and e is to r2 x is the solution of l of y is equal to 0 okay if r1 and r2 are the distinct roots we have to show that why this phi 1 and phi 2 satisfies the equation l of y is equal to 0 and the second one is if r1 is repeated roots repeated two times okay repeated roots sorry root of the characteristic polynomial p of r then the function then the function phi 1 and phi 2 then the function phi 1 and phi 2 defined by Hmm. D find by phi one of x is equal to e raised to r one x and phi two is what? X so into e raised to r one x. What what? X into e raised to r one x. Very good. X into e raised to r one x. Why? Because the function, uh, because the root R1 is repeated two times. Repeated okay. root. And the phi 2 of x is equal to x into e raised to R1 of x. Okay, is the solution of, is the solution of L of y is equal to 0. Okay, we have to prove that these two statements. Okay. Let a1 and a2 be the constant and consider the equation L of y is equal to y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2 y is equal to 0. Okay, then these are the two statements we have to prove. Why? What? If r1 and r2 are the two distinct roots, then phi1 of x is equal to e raised to r1x and phi2 of x is equal to e raised to r2 of x. These are the solution of L of y is equal to 0. That means L of phi1 is equal to 0. We have to prove that. L of phi 1 is equal to 0 and L of phi 2 is also equal to 0. Okay, if suppose R1 is repeated the roots of the characteristic polynomial, then phi 1 of x is, is equal to e raised to R1x and phi 2 of x is equal to x into e raised to R1x. These are the solution of L of y is equal to 0. That means we have to prove that L of phi 1 is equal to 0 and also L of phi 2 is equal to 0. Okay, any doubt? No, sir. Okay, no, sir. No, sir. Yeah, differential equation with the fact the solve kare is a hapla. You would a concept wise case nate. Okay. Tumala sotala solve kare chit at least a great example. Okay, concept of baki or avhara sa kais nate, sir. Algebra modi hotas. Okay. Now to prove first statement. Let R1 and R2 be the distinct root of the characteristic polynomial. First, let L of y is equal to y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2 is equal to 0. Give it as equation number 1. Okay, B, the second order, second order linear differential equation okay homogeneous okay homogeneous linear differential equation where a1 and a2 are complex constant okay complex constant and the characteristic then the characteristic polynomial of equation 1 
of equation 1 is given by it's given by p of r is equal to r square plus a1 r plus a2 okay give it as equation number 2 okay now suppose suppose r1 and r2 be two distinct roots distinct roots okay of characteristic polynomial 2 and to prove that l of phi 1 which is equal to l of t raised to r 1 x is equal to 0 and l of phi 2 is equal to l of t raised to r 2 of x is equal to 0. Okay, now consider L of phi 1 which is equal to L of e raised to r 1 of x. Okay, which is equal to put instead of here. What is the L of y? Here. y double dash plus a 1 y dash plus a 2. Instead of y, we put here e raised to r 1 x. Okay. So here we get e raised to r1 x double dash plus a1 e raised to r1 of x dash plus a2 e raised to r1 of x. Okay. Now solve this. First, r1 as, as it is. Okay. What is the derivative of e raised to rx? R1 x. E raised to R1 x. E raised to R1 x dash. Okay, and R1 is the constant. Plus A1 R1 E raised to R1 x. Plus A2 E raised to R1 x as it is. Again, we get R1 square. Okay, derivative of, derivative of this one. E raised to R1 x plus a1 r1 e raised to r1 x plus a2 e raised to r1 x as it is. Now taking e raised to r1 x common e raised to r1 x what we have then r1 square plus a1 r1 plus a2 okay which is equal to e raised to r1 x into p of r1. Okay, any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. R1 and R2 are the distinct root of this equation. Okay, equation number 2. If R1 is the root of equation number 2, then what is the P of R1? Can I P of R1? R1 square plus A1 R1 plus A2. Huh, is equal to can I root m is equal to 0 yes sir okay so yes, p sir. of r1 is equal to 0 distinct roots kasha la manto apan jama equal to 0 is so e1 e1 raised to r1 sorry e raised to r1 x into 0 which is equal to 0 so this is the value of l of phi 1 okay uh, okay and also similarly we prove L of e raised to r2 of x is equal to p of r2 into e raised to r2 of x which is equal to 0 into e raised to r2 of x which is equal to 0. The reason can you have? Since, since r2 is root of p of r. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Therefore, P of R1 is equal to 0. 
Similarly, P of R T is equal to zero. Hence, we get L of E raised to R two of X is equal to zero. So here, give the equation number three, and this is four. Okay. Hence, equation three and four. Wrong equation three and four. Hence, equation three and four. The function. Y one of x is equal to e raised to r one of x and y two of x, which is equal to e raised to r two of x. E raised to r two into x. Sorry. Okay. Is the solution of given differential equation one. Okay. Any doubt? No sir. No sir. Now the second part. If suppose R one is repeated two times, okay. Second one. Let R one be repeated root of characteristic polynomial. P of R is equal to R square plus A one R plus A two. Okay. Now to prove that, prove that. Y one of X is equal to E raised to R one X, and Y two of X is equal to X into E raised to R one of x. Okay, R one is repeated two times. Hence, we can write phi two of x is equal to x into e raised to R one of x. Okay, its solution of solution of equation one. Now consider. L of X into e raised to r one x, okay, which is equal to what is the l? Y double dash plus a one y dash plus a two. So putting instead of y, we have x into e raised to r one x. So what we get? X into e raised to r one x double dash plus a one into x into e raised to r one of x dash plus a two of x into e raised to r one of X, so which is equal to first take the derivative of first as it is derivative of second. Okay, plus derivative of first second as it is. This derivative of x is one. Okay, this dash plus a one first as it is derivative of derivative of second one. E is to other one x. Plus e raised to r one x and x the derivative kita na one plus a two into x into e raised to r one x. Any doubt? No sir. No sir. Okay, again, now apply u into v here. Okay, u into v rule for derivative. So what we get then? X into r one square e raised to r one x plus R one into e raised to R one x derivative of x is equal to one plus and derivative of this one now R one into e raised to R one x as plus a one this one is as it is x into R one e raised to R one x plus e raised to R one x plus a two into x Into e is to r one x. Okay, any doubt? No sir. No sir. No sir. So which is equal to by solving we get look at here r one r one square plus a one r one plus a two into x into e is to r one x plus two r one 
plus a one, which is equal to e this to r one x. But that's all. Got a kind of kai kai kutna kutna kai common kai lepa r one square. Okay, itun r one kai common. Okay, itun kai kai common. Hill solve kada ye kaise angle chhi kada jayega? He solve kada he statement na thoda sa. Okay. R1 of x. Now look at here. What is the p of r? P of r1 is r1 square plus a1 r1 plus a2. Now what is p dash of r1? 2 r1 plus a1. Okay. Suppose you have r1 has two type. Okay, characteristic polynomial. Then how can I equal to zero on automatically? But p dash of r1 is also zero. ओके म्हणजे पुढचे डी टू जी काय असते ते झिरो असतात ओके समजा एखादा पॉलीनॉमियल आहे जर त्याचा रूट r1 असेल सपोज दिस वन r1 स्क्वेअर प्लस a1 r1 प्लस a2 इज इक्वल टू झिरो सपोज हा तुमचा r1 या पॉलीनॉमियलचा रूट आहे सपोज दिस r1 इज द रूट ऑफ द दिस पॉलीनॉमियल व्हिच इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ r1 Hence, if p dash r1 is also root of this derivative of this polynomial, 2 r1 plus a1. Baga, konta tari ek polynomial gyun baga? Yun jayinti. Okay. Hence, we get p dash of r1 is also 0, which is equal to p of r1 is equal to 0 into x e is to r1 x why because r1 is the root of polynomial hence we can write here 0 plus 0 into e is to r1 x which is equal to 0 okay now doubt it i no sir no sir no Hence, L of x e raised to r1 x is equal to 0 is the solution, the solution of given differential equation. Okay, this shows that. It shows that phi two of x is equal to x into e raised to r one of x is solution of given differential equation. Okay, any doubt? No, no, sir. Five and that one actually does not because in first case we have one five and that one is it. Okay. Five and that one actually does not. We have to show that only phi two is the solution of that L of phi is equal to zero. Okay. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Now let us say example. One example is there. y double dash minus 4y is equal to 0. Okay, now find the phi 1 and phi 2 and tell me what is the characteristic polynomial and what are the phi 1 and phi 2. So I'll get any sangamal.
e raised to 2x phi 1 is equal to e raised to 2x and phi 2 is equal to e raised to minus 2x okay very good now look at given differential equation the given equation given equation is of the form is of the standard form okay is of the standard form of the equation Hence, L of y is equal to y double dash minus 4y, okay, which is equal to 0. Give it as equation number 1. Then the characteristic form of L. The first error is all Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of the equation 1 is r square minus 4. Which is equal to zero. At the homogeneous I am going to P a particular integral cardinal knife, but the complementary function cardinal the lacamid solution. Solution. So B of X is a non-homogeneous the particular particular integral. integral. And the general complete integral cas of those CF plus C of plus P I. Okay. Now what is the R square then? Four. Then what are the possibilities of R plus and minus plus minus two? Two. Hence here the roots are the distinct. Hence, the phi 1 of x, phi 1 of x is equal to e raised to r1x, which is equal to e raised to 2x. And the phi 2 of x is equal to e raised to r2 of x, which is equal to e raised to minus 2x. Okay. Now, the next term. Any doubt up to here? Any doubt I catch no, sir. Okay. Now, the next theorem. If phi 1 and phi 2, phi 1 and phi 2 are two solutions, two solutions of second order linear differential equation okay homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient with constant coefficient coefficient l of y is equal to y double dash sorry y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2 of y which is equal to 0. Then we have to show that the linear combination of phi 1 and phi 2 is again solution of L of y. Then the linear linear combination linear combination it's also solution of L of y is equal to 0. It means that phi 1 plus phi 2. Okay, linear combination is nothing but C1 phi 1. Okay, if phi 1 and phi 2 are the two solution, then the linear combination is what we have then? C1 phi 1 plus C2, C2 phi, phi 2. Where C1 and C2 are any constant complex constant okay we have to show that this is also satisfies the equation l of y is equal to zero that is to prove that l of c1 phi 1 plus c2 phi 2 satisfies the given equation okay now proof let L of y is equal to y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2 of y is equal to 0. Give it as equation number 1. The second order, second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. constant coefficient
Hence, phi one and phi two are the here. Okay. Let let assume here phi one and phi two. Phi one and phi two are two solutions. Are solutions of equation one. Okay, that is that implies L of phi one is equal to phi one double dash plus a one phi dash plus a two is equal to zero. Give it as equation number. Two and also phi two is also solution. It means that L of phi two is equal to phi two double dash plus a one phi phi one is there, no? L phi two dash plus a two. Let phi one is also there. And instead of y, we are, we put here phi one. Okay, phi two is equal to zero. Give it as equation number three. Okay, let phi is the linear combination of phi one and phi two, which is nothing but c one phi one plus c two phi two. Okay, we have to prove that we have to prove that l of phi is equal to zero. Okay. Now consider L of phi, which is equal to phi double dash plus a one phi dash plus a two. Okay, which is nothing but what is the value of phi? C one phi one plus c two phi two double dash plus a one into bracket c one Phi one plus c two phi two bracket dash plus a two that phi is there, na? C one phi one plus c two phi two, okay, which is equal to c one phi one double dash plus c two phi two double dash plus a one c one phi one Dash plus a one c two phi two dash plus and this one as it is c one phi one a two c two phi two. Okay, which implies that c one in one bracket phi one dash the phi one double dash plus a one phi dash phi one dash sorry plus a two phi one. Okay, plus in another bracket, take C two is common. What we get? Phi two double dash plus a one phi two dash plus a two phi two. Okay, any doubt? No sir. No doubt either. No. Okay, for the C one and C two common, can't leave. Okay, guys, but phi one and phi two are the solution of L of phi. Hence, L of phi is equal to zero, and L of phi two is also Zero. Hence, here we get c one into l of phi one plus c two into l of phi two, which is equal to c one into zero and c two into zero, which implies zero, which implies that l of phi is equal to zero. Hence, the linear combination of Phi one and phi two is again the solution of L of y. Okay, hence the linear combination, the linear combination of phi one and phi two is again solution. Of the law of y is equal to zero, and hence the proof. Any doubt? No, sir. No. The linear difference.
तुम्हारे इक्वेशन खूब सोपा इजी खूब इजी चैप्टर है फिर तुम्हारा कैलक्युलेटिव पार्ट है जैसे तुम्हारे डोक लाइच नहीं फिर सॉल्व कर Any doubt up to here? No sir. Okay. So the remaining part we will see in the next lecture. Okay, at two thirty p.m. Okay, we will end for this one. Okay, up to here. Any doubt? No sir. No sir. Any doubt? Still, that we can do something. Wait a minute. 